teddy bear, a 10 year old um, Pomeranian, right? Yeah, Pomeranian. He dislocated his back hip, left hip about a week ago. So he's got the typical stance where he crosses his left leg sort of in front of the right one. So there's a typical stance of a dog who's got a dislocated hip. He is very lucky in that he is still walking very well on it. So it was, we tried to put it back in. Um, it stayed for a couple of minutes and then came out, which is the typical problem with this, these guys. You can get it in right away after they're after they dislocate it, there's a much better chance of it staying in. But for a lot of these guys, there's swelling, there's shallowness in the hip as it is already, and it doesn't stay in. So this is a typical stance for a dog that's dislocated their hip. Point the toe in front of the other leg. Um, because sur surgery is an option, so an FHO is an option, it's about $1,200 here at, at my clinic, Jared's Full Vet. Uh, but because he's walking so well and doing so well, because money is an issue, we are going to watch him instead of rushing him right into surgery. Um, certainly he's at a risk of earlier onset osteoarthritis and degenerative joint disease, but he's a 10 year old dog who also has collapsing trachea. Um, so we're gonna manage all of his issues and see how he does. But I just wanna give you a general overview of what a dislocated or luxated hip looks like. And that's him. All right, say goodbye teddy bear. Okay, see you guys later. If you have any questions, you can reach me at jarrettsfullvet or polly.com. Take care.